Hi, I'm Lynn Jordan, and today I'm bringing you exciting news. Last week, Pseudorite, which is the first and premier tool for using AI to write fiction, just made a whole bunch of us very, very happy. Since the beginning, we've been saying we want more room for certain uh, fields. And so what they did last week is they unveiled new character fields and world building fields. I'll show you what that looks like right now. <clears throat> we go into a project. And if you have projects, you can convert them right away or you can wait. If you create a new project, it will be the new format right away. If I hop down here to characters, I have nothing in this project. I just started. I can add the characters. It generates the characters the way it always has. However, look at this customize button. You can include more boxes, more specific boxes. Uh, here I have age, physical description, strengths and weaknesses, motivations and goals, Myers-Briggs. Uh, personality traits, dialogue, tone of voice, backstory, and I added species because I'm using this uh, for a shifter book. So I want my shifters to have species. I can add more traits. I can get rid of traits. I made a mistake. I made my species a new default. So it comes up now on every one of them. Uh, what I need to do is I need to take it off, and I need to set a new default. And then now, when I am doing a shifter book, all I have to do is I have to come down here and click Add, and Add Species again. But it won't show up on my other books unless I deliberately add it in. Uh, so if you say new defaults, that means it's your account wide. If you only add it to the current ones, that means it only works on this project. So it gives us plenty of room. And then we'll take a look at world building. It's the same thing. You can customize it or you can use some of their defaults. We have setting, organization, lore, key events, clues. That would be if you're writing a mystery, uh, magic systems, items, technology, government, economy, culture, religion, and you can do custom, and that will let you add a custom field to all of this. So to show you how that works in reality, unless you've already jumped off to go try your own project. Uh, this is a shifter test. And if I come down here in my story bible, I can pull up my characters, and I have Ryder Montgomery. I'm able to label him as a protagonist, uh, list his pronouns. He belongs to the Rocky Falls Search and Rescue Team. Uh, so that way you have the team defined. It doesn't work as well as we had hoped, but uh, I think it will in the future. But for now, you still have, you have a team. You have to at least put their names up. And then it gives a place for other names. It gives his physical description, his strengths and weaknesses, his motivation and goals, his Myron Briggs, his personality, tone and dialogue, and his backstory. And his species is a little shift. Then I have, she's our heroine, our love interest. Um, she's a journalist. Uh, she has the same descriptions, the same description field. You can have it generated for you, or you can bring your own characters and plop them in here. It works either way. Uh, her species is human, because this is one that has species in it. So I have all my characters listed out. You can have as many characters as you want, I believe up to 2,000. And if you have 2,000, you're writing more than War and Peace, I think. So... Uh, it should, this should be fine. And you can duplicate projects so you can have the same cast for, say, a sequel, which is, of course, what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you world building. Uh, down here, I have the, 
I have Rocky Falls, which is the town. Um, it tells us it's a place, uh, scent of pine or water cascading. It's also a shifter sanctuary. Uh, it's an isolated region by dense forests, accessible only by narrow winding roads, has plenty of hiking trails. Um, it tells us a little bit about the search and rescue team itself. Uh, it was founded by shifters and it right now only has shifters. The traditions and customs of the community. Uh, and I can add more if I want. I thought I had their uh, headquarters. Oh, here's the headquarters. Yes, we know that it's, it's part of the search and rescue uh, description. We've got the goals, the history, and then this is what the headquarters building looks like. Uh, so as it generates prose, it's going to look at all these fields. Now, if you're going to say, but Lynn, this is for fantasy or paranormal, and I don't write that. I write uh, straight fiction. So what I'm going to show you now is how it works. And I happen to have a romantic suspense. Uh, let me look at it. So with the romantic suspense, come down to Story Bible. Characters is pretty much the same. I've got Jake Donovan, which of course that name has to change. Uh, I've got his physical description, strengths, weaknesses, motivations, personality. And he also has a species because remember I had, I set the global variable. And then I have Lily. Um, and I, it called her human. I don't know why it didn't call Jake human. But, uh, your characters are the same, no matter what kind of book you're writing. With each book, you can change which features they have, what characteristics you have for them. But characters work the same. However, in world building, if we look over here, this is a motorcycle gang uh, story. And it's the Iron Serpent. So it taught, tells you what their territory is like. Uh, tells you where it is. Back alleys, nondescript warehouses. Uh, and then our hero is an ATF field agent. So talks about other names they call that. And uh, we have what their field office looks like, where the building is. Uh, we have some information about the motorcycle club itself, um, what their goals are, what their history was, what their headquarters look like. And our heroine Lila runs a garage, and so we have a description for what Lila's garage looks like. And it gives us a feel for that and for that location. Uh, because uh, my hero works for the ATF, and this whole series revolves around ATF agents, um, we've got information about what the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Explosives is and what they do, how they work. So we're able to talk about that. So no matter what kind of book you're writing, you're going to have settings. And you're going to have cultures within that, even if you don't think, well, it's modern day, contemporary, everybody knows the culture. But you may, there's certain aspects of it you probably want to pick out and emphasize in your book. And that's what these new features give us the ability to do. Uh, Suda Wright has run several classes on the how to use these, how to set them up. So I know you're excited about them. You can either jump in and start yourself right off the bat, or you can watch some of the classes. Nicole uh, Broussard did classes last week on each section, filling out the characters, and she did another one on world building. So check those out. Also, other users have given how they use it. The staff has been very good in showing how uh, They've designed it. They give us a little look at behind the scenes about how that might work. So I encourage you to go and use it yourself. 
watch the videos, and study up on it. Happy writing.